Hi everyone, welcome to this video entitled How to create an image digitizer using WinPython. So in this video we will see the introduction. We will show the basics of Pygame library, which is the library that we are going to use in this video to create this digitizer. We will show the programming of the digitizer in WinPython. And finally, we will show an example of use. If you are not familiar with WinPython, this is the link from which you can download the program. And also in this video, WinPython number one introduction, you can get more information about how to install this program and also the basics of using this program. So the goal of the digitizer is to be able to automatically extract the values from an image. So here, for example, we have the characteristics of the parasitic capacitance of a MOSFET as a function of the voltage between the drain and the source. So what we want to do is to be able to click on the characteristic and from it get this file with the different points with the value of voltage and the value of capacitance. So for this we need also two additional points to get the scales. So we can use this point here and this point in order to get the value of the vertical scale capacitance per pixel and also the horizontal scale of voltage per pixel. So let's see how to do this using WinPython. This is the library that we are going to use by game. Here is the link to the documentation of this library. This is the logo. And this is another interesting link from which we can get an example of how to use this library, which is this example that we are showing in this slide. And this example shows the three basic steps that we need to do to work on an image. So first is to create the window on which we are going to draw our image. We need to load the image on the window. And finally, we do a loop to detect the mouse events. So the first step to create the window we start by importing the library, we initialize the library, with these two variables we define the dimensions of the window on which we are going to load the image, we create the window with this statement, so we are using these dimensions, we assign a name to the window, we load the image that we want to create on the window, with this statement here, we copy the content of the image on the window and we can provide here the coordinates at which we are going to place the image on the window, usually 0, 0, and then we paint the screen. So with this, we will see the image on the window. So finally, we create this loop. So while the status is true, we are doing this loop. And in this for statement, we are searching for events on the window. So i is an event in the window and there can be several events, for example, pressing the button of the mouse or closing the window, for example, here is uh, this example. If the event is to quit the window, then it sets status equal to false and then we leave the loop and then deactivate the library. So inside this loop, we are going to include the detection of the clicking on the mouse and getting the coordinates of each point. So let's see the program in WinPython. We are importing Pygame and we are also using the library NumPy. This is to create the arrays in which we are going to store the data. And in this first part, what we are doing is introducing the information that we need to work on the image. So this is the file with the image. 
these are the dimensions of the window that we are going to use. Of course, these dimensions have to be greater than the dimensions of the image. Here we are introducing the coordinates of the two points that we are going to use for the scales. So, for example, in this case is this point here, 0, 0, and this point here, which is 50 volts and 3 nanofarads. And this is the name of the file in which we are going to store the points that we are going to get from the image. So now we are defining the arrays. We are going to use 100 points now, but we can change this if necessary. And then we create two arrays for the points with the coordinates in pixels. So these are integers. And these two other arrays are for the points with the values in the units of the image. So in this case, it's going to be in nanofarads and in volts. So we are using floats for these arrays. And then in this part, we are doing what we have just seen to create the window, to give a name, to load the image and to display the image on the window. And then in this part here of the program, we are going to get the two points for the scales. So here we do the loop and in this loop we are going to detect when the button of the mouse is pressed. So when the button is pressed, we get the position of the cursor. We draw a blue dot on this position update the display and also print on the console the coordinates in pixels and then we leave the loop or otherwise if the user quits the window then we leave also the loop and we do the same for the other point this point here with the uh, maximum value of the coordinates x max and y max so we do the same and with these two points, we can obtain the parameters that we need to do the linear transformation between actual values and pixels. And finally, in this part of the program, we are going to get the different points of the curve in pixels and transform them into the actual values, in this case in nanofarads and volts. So here what we are doing is another loop to detect when the button of the mouse is pressed. Again, we are using this index to number each point and use it for storing the information in the array. So here when the button is pressed, we get the position, we draw a now a red circle. We do the linear transformation between pixels and actual data. Here we have previously calculated the slopes corresponding to the horizontal axis and to the vertical axis. We are going to print also on the console the values so we can see what is happening. When the user has introduced all the points, then they will quit the window, so we leave the loop. Here we deactivate the library, by game library, and here with these statements here, we are saving all the data on the file. The name of the file was defined previously at the top of the program. So you see, this is the complete program, it's very easy to develop this program. If you want to try it, you can go to the GitHub repository of this channel. Here is the link and here you will be able to download and try this program. So let's see now how the program works. This is the image that we are going to use. If we go to properties, then we can see the dimensions in pixels. So is 725 times 663. So with 
a window of 800 times 800 pixels, it will be OK. So now we can go to the program. Here we have the information that we have to uh, introduce in the program. This is where we have the file. These are the dimensions of the window. And these are the two points for the scales to do the transformation between pixels and actual values. So we have to introduce this data here. We get this data from the points that we have selected this point here, which is the maximum, and this point here, 0, 0, and 3 nanofarads at 50 volts. So go back to the program. And then we only have to introduce here the name of the file in which we want to store the data. Now, before running the program, we are going to undock this window, the console, so we can see everything together. So now we run the program and we can see here the image and here we have the console. So now uh, we have here this message, introduce the point with the x min and y min, so it's this point here, we can see the dot in blue, and then introduce the other point, is this point here, okay, and now we are going to introduce the different data points, so we go to this characteristic, for example, and get this point, and that's it. We leave the window and we can go, we can see here the different points that we have introduced in pixels and in actual values. So we can check that everything is okay. And if we go to our file, we can see here that we have the data corresponding to the points that we have selected. And also an interesting trick that we can do is a zoom on the image as we are showing here so we can have more accuracy when selecting the points. So with this image now we can select this point here and this point here for the scales and then we will have more accuracy in selecting the points. So this image now has these dimensions, so with a window of 1400 pixels times 700 pixels would be okay. So we go to our program and we change here 1400 and 700. The name of the image is apps zoom and the points for the coordinates are 5 volts, 1.5 nanofarads, 5 volts, 1.5 nanofarads, and 45 volts, and 2.4 nanofarads, 45 volts, and 2.4 nanofarads. So now we can again maybe undock this window to see everything and then we can run the program here we have the image so now we can give this point here and this point here and now we can select the different points again with more accuracy so we leave and here we can see the different points that we have obtained. Well, with this we get to the end of this video today. I hope that this program is interesting for you and useful in the future. Please let me know if you have any comment or question through the comments section of this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye now.